Hello, welcome back to the channel. We're glad you're here with us. Greetings from Vernon, Florida. We are at Holmes Creek RV Resort. We are about to go do some family fun for the holidays. We are gonna go to the local town. They have a Christmas parade today and a little Christmas festival going on. We're gonna go hang out with the grand chicks and some of our kiddos and we're gonna have a great time. first one actually when you come in and I really like this site because there's nobody behind us or in front of us however you want to look at it and there's this really pretty tree right above us although it does keep dropping some acorns so every so often you hear a loud pop pop on the roof uh, but it's really it's a really quiet park it's really nice they have I don't know if you can hear them they have parakeets I'll take you guys over there in a second so you can see parakeetaville they also have goats that live right next door to us. There's goats and chickens, not chickens, goats. There are goats and ducks. And one of the goats keeps jailbreaking. And he or she came over to our campsite this morning and Lily wasn't having any of it. She was like, no, get off of my site. This is my place. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here. More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow Yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time Welcome to Parakeetaville How cool is this? You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose an argument, so I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay, it's just a phase, and everything is going just great I think about you a lot, it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop, yeah, yeah knew that this would happen yeah you would find a new distraction i need you more need you here more than i would like to admit can we let go of tomorrow yeah you never break you never lie 
you never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop So we're out with the fam and we're walking around and the lady that owns the place let us in the parakeet enclosure which is really cool now we're walking down towards holmes creek and they have this huge area back here and you can drive your car back here park launch kayaks whatever have a picnic we'll probably bring lily back here to do some playing with the ball later this week uh it's a little overcast today they wound up canceling the parade we were supposed to go to so wah, 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 wah. we are sad anyway so we're just gonna make the best of it and with the grand chicks and the kids and hang out. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? Right here this is the kayak launch ramp and it's real easy to get to it's just a quick little walk from the campground okay so when you come to florida you have to know beware of the fire ants they will eat your butt up yeah. there's a party in the streets and the city's on fire Holmes Creek RV Park in Florida and I am with the help of my son attempting to install an Iceco 64 quart uh, refrigerator freezer in our basement unfortunately the basement side I wanted to put it in it will not fit so we're attempting to run the 12 volt circuit from here strap it along the back of the basement wall through here and then we're gonna pick it up on the other side uh, because we have ample room for the freezer and I'll give you guys some uh, pictures as we go. So we're using a plastic wire loom and the, basically the only reason we're using this plastic wire loom, here's my son helping me out, uh, <laughs> is to protect the wire in the basement because we do store stuff in here uh, during travel days. Um, actually it is the home for our Ninja Wood Fire Smoker and if you guys saw our Thanksgiving video then you know what that is. So here we go again, this is my self-induced syndrome of big guy in a little basement box. So we installed two chafing rings, electrical chafing ring, once on each, one on each side to contain the wire. So now we're gonna feed the plug through. Everything had to be big enough to feed the plug through uh, because we did not want to cut the plug off. Um, so now we're gonna run this over, get it lined up. We're gonna back it up and I'm actually gonna black uh, electrical tape the section from here into the other basement uh, just to make sure that um, we don't have any problem with water or anything getting in here and then we're going to silicone everything up. So hang tight, I'll be right back with you guys. a test fit to make sure that this thing would fit in here uh, before we went ahead and wired everything up and now we are going to 
put it in this insulated bag because every bit of insulation you can get will help. This thing's really nicely insulated already <coughs> and it actually has latches that really keep the lid down tight. Uh, but I'm not going to pass up putting another layer of insulation on this thing. So bear with us. We're going to fight the uh, dragon here and try to get this uh, insulated cover on. This was a big deal for us people. We've been spending about $10 a week in ice just to keep sodas, water, and beer cold. So there is removal of the old cooler, installation of the new Ice Co. refrigerator freezer, which also gives us an option to have some more frozen food outside. And we have everything put back the way it's supposed to be. So big thumbs up and I got to give a shout out to my son for coming by here on his day off. Uh, he's about 30. So welcome to the future. This is Mike, three months into the future from the day that this refrigerator was installed. I want to give you guys a big heads up. This thing is working like a champ. Let me show you what we got in here. Still have that insulated bag that you guys are just watching fight put on. This is our freezer side, which right now is currently sitting at zero. And we have ice cream some sausage, some breakfast sausage, some frozen veggies, some bacon. So we put our overflow vegetables and uh, extra frozen items in there. This side we have, looks like a little bit of beer. There's some water in there, look, water. Water, water everywhere. And this side is sitting at a cool 34 degrees. So big thumbs up. This was an absolute great purchase for us. We've already saved thousands and thousands of dollars on ice for sure in the future but definitely good purchase definitely good install and it is definitely performing exactly the way it should well good morning from Holmes creek campground and rv resort we're here in vernon florida it is a balmy 45 degrees this morning it's time for our morning walk i thought i'd take you guys on a little tour of the campground so stay tuned The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of so here we have the camp store and actually they call it the camp boutique it actually is a nice little boutique they have some jewelry they have just a handful of things that you may need, additional RV plugged hose and stuff like that. But it's a beautiful park. They have a lot of these oak trees with an abundance of Spanish moss in them. That's our rig right there. We're in site one. They have a nice little outdoor pavilion. I'll take you guys over there. They have the fire pit, place for a hammock, four picnic tables. They have a place to play horseshoes. And they also have a couple cornhole boards. They have a very nice playground for the children. That road you see behind there actually takes you down to Holmes Creek. It runs down behind their lake. They have paddle boards for rent. It's a beautiful little area down there. They have a launch pad as well. It's not quite a beach, but they do have several chairs down there right on the creek front to uh, to kind of hang out. So let's take a look at some more of these uh, campsites. Again, we're in site one. 
It's a back in sight. It's gravel. There's site two, another back in sight. All of these sites down here on the left-hand side coming in are all back in, and they're long enough to get a pretty good size rig in there and a vehicle. So that's a bus with a tag axle and a car. Um, that guy also has a full-size extended cab pickup truck, and that fits in front. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. You could easily get a tag axle and a tow vehicle in one of these. Most of these have dual hookups, which means they have two uh, water, sewer, and electric. There's another water, sewer, and electric. So each one of these pull-through sites has water and electric in two locations. Most of them have two picnic tables as well. I'll get you the number on the first pull-through site. So this is site 20. He actually comes up to our campsite every morning. He's the only one that gets out and he knows exactly where to go back in and he goes back in every morning. Doesn't bother anything around the campsite, doesn't make any noise or any mess. But the same goat gets out every single morning, eats the grass from the campsite, and then sneaks back into uh, the fenced in area on the other side. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Also have wood for sale, which is directly across the street from Parakeetaville. You can see the wood currently is five dollars a bundle. It's for six pieces. Uh, you do have to hand carry it; it isn't wrapped up. So the area that you see behind me, their future plans are to put in a swimming pool. And we're going to wrap this tour up with a, another shot of the boutique and the check-in station. They do sell ice as well, and right there is the laundry room. So that completes our tour here at Holmes Creek. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for further adventures. All right, let's start over. That field located behind me, just here where the playground are, 